He will chase you when you do this. In this video, you will discover exactly what to do and also how to shift your mindset so you become irresistible to emotionally available men without wasting any more time or attracting ghosters into your life. I'm, of course, your host, Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method. And look, this is the channel where we magnetize your man so that the man you want, of course, pursues you and desires you forever. Now, of course, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell below for more incredible, juicy videos to attract that right man you want. One. So let's go ahead and dive right into what to do so a man will actually chase you. Number four is increase your perspective. Yes, so we're not going into the usual nilly vanilla advice, but we're actually going to go a little bit into what is keeping you stuck from actually attracting the right man into your life. And part of it is you having a limited perspective. Now, the brain deletes, distorts, and generalizes reality based on your unconscious expectation. So the chance, the fact that you're, that you're on this video today, that you're watching this, it's like showing, okay, there's like an unconscious expectation that you're not attracting that into your life, right? That you're actually attracting men into your life who are ghosting you, who are maybe disrespecting you, who are inconsistent in their communication. And what you really want to understand is you have to increase your perspective. In other words, you have to account for all the deletions that are happening. Where are you deleting? You know, where are you actually not seeing men that are already around you? Now, you may not be aware of them, right? Your awareness is, is not there, but they're still around you. And I see this all the time. You may not be in the experience of them, but they are already around you. So you can actually see, okay, how can I be more aware, right? Like even ask yourself powerful questions like that. How can I be even more aware of all those incredible, powerful, quality men that are already around me? Right? Or how can I be even more aware of all the ways how this man is already investing into me? Okay, so try that out and then let me know how it goes. Number three is embrace your queen tensity. Now, this is, of course, a very unique term that I teach in my program. And queen tensity essentially truly describes to like actually one thing, but let me break it down. So intensity is of course, like a extreme level of force. We all know that, right? And what ha happens oftentimes, the reason why men not chasing you is because you are suppressing your intensity. And then what happens is you become invisible. You actually dim your own light. Girlfriend, Brene Brown says it best. There's no selective dimming of emotions. So no matter how much you think you can suppress your anger, you can suppress your rage, you can suppress your sadness. If you do that, you will also suppress your passion, your life force energy, your enthusiasm, your excitement, and all of the positive aspects that make a man attracted to you. Now, also, you will have a very small range of emotions. Now, the bigger the range of your emotions is, the more attractive you will be because authenticity is the true magnet, man magnet, right? It really is. But these days, nobody even knows anymore how to be authentic because you have been conditioned by your environment through all the wounds that you have experienced through the emotionally unavailable parent, for emotionally abusive or uh, like parent, or of course, abusive period parent, narcissistic parent, right? How to not be authentically you, right? How to not authentically actually express your needs and your desires and instead actually suppress that. 
So Queen Tensity actually helps you to hold that unapologetically so that when someone even tells you, which happened to me, I it tell the story quite a bit, when this guy told me that I kissed too much, that was like 12 years ago, and I said, this is who I am, right? So the concept of Queen Tensity helped me to advocate for my own needs in that moment. And of course, it had actually a positive impact. Number two is be willing to be wrong. Okay, so when I met my husband Brody, I, you know, I really needed to be right, right? And how does being right sound like? Well, it sounds like, you know, like there's no good men out there, right? Or I knew this would happen. Like I knew I couldn't rely on him, right? Oh, uh, I knew he would disrespect me. So even though there is a disappointment, there's also like a weird satisfaction that goes with when we're right. And it's because it's certainty, right? The brain loves certainty, loves to create certainty, create pseudo certainty, unfortunately. And that then also means that you start to fill in the blanks. And of course, that's something that's really bad. But if you're willing to be wrong, as a matter of fact, what I always say is the quality of men you attract into your life is directly proportional to your willingness to be wrong. What? And this is, of course, true because when I met my husband Brody, he's four years younger than me. And my assumption was like, wait a minute, if I want a mature man in my life, I need to make sure he's definitely four years older than me because I've never met a guy who is four years younger than me and who's like super mature and who has the same life goals and visions like me. I'd never experienced that. But luckily for me, I was willing to be wrong. And guess what? I was able to attract my incredible, amazing husband into my life. You know, I also said on my list, you know, I want to have someone who's, you know, who's like intellectually stimulating. That means he needs to have at least a, like a master's degree, if not a PhD. Now, my husband doesn't have that, but he's highly intellectually stimulating. He's probably read more books than any master and PhD student that I know of, right? He's just really interested, invested in life. So again, I was willing to be wrong. So how can you be willing to be wrong? Great question to ask yourself is, what else could this mean, right? So instead of actually rushing to certainty, right? Rushing to know the outcome, actually saying, hold on a second, let me actually put on the brakes and ask, wait a minute, what else could this mean, right? I already made this interpretation, this guy sucks, and this and that. But okay, but if it wasn't, if he didn't suck, like what else could this mean? Now, of course, if you like this content, give it a thumbs up, share it with a girlfriend and subscribe to my channel. Number one is lean into the flow. Oh my gosh, I have so much to say about that. We actually, God gives us so much feedback. But what had happening is that we don't take that feedback, but we rather hit our head against the wall over and over and over again, right? Instead of saying, you know what? Rejection is God's protection or God's redirection, right? We're actually like, no, let me lean in more. And let me fight this more and let me recreate this even more. And again, we get like really stubborn. And part of it is because it feels scary to say, if that's not true, then I don't know what's true, then I don't know what to do, then I don't know who to trust, including myself. But if you're actually willing to let go, and this is really a principle I teach, right? It's actually knowing when to lean in and when to let go so you can be in the flow. And this is really when I call this, this is the riding the creation wave. That's just what Things are just happening for you. You have massive momentum and you just meet the right incredible men that you have been looking for your whole life. And they will literally chase you. You're like, Antje, what is happening? You know, so this is really what is going on. And so if you want to learn more about how to attract emotionally available men into your life and seeing what keeps you stuck, take my free Magnetize Your Man quiz at 
mymquiz.com. Now, if you haven't watched so already, go ahead. When a man deeply loves you, he will start saying these five things. Ladies, this is it for today. Lots of love to you. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.